Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on the Chrysler Viceroy Ballpoint Pen. Thank you Mr. Legoman. So, this pen, uh, if you're not familiar with this brand, Chrysler, well, actually I'm not sure if it's pronounced Chrysler or Chrysler, like the car brand. Uh, it's actually written differently with a K and it's actually you spell it K-R-E-I-S-L-E-R -E Chrysler with a K hmm yes with an I and a K at the at the beginning and Viceroy and it's made in USA this pen brand uh, for what I researched they used to make fine pens they were they were made in New Jersey um, as you can notice, they're narrow pens, probably competed with Cross, Anson, um, what's the other one, Quill, and, uh, and, ah, there's another one, I'm forgetting right now the name, Garland, and Garland Pens. So, this is a pen company that has long been gone, but, but they do have very nice looking pens. The only fault that these pens have is that their refill is proprietary and it's very rare and hard to get if not basically now impossible but I really love this pen it was very cheap I found it on a flea market I really love the style and I love the fact that it still writes actually so I'm lucky to actually have one with a blue ink working refill now let's take a look at the pen this pen was also available as a set of two but this is the ballpoint it was available as a ballpoint or a mechanical pencil. We see chrome accents, we see over here a chrome uh, top part, which could be engraved. I've noticed that some people had it engraving in jewelry stores. We have a chrome ring where it has the name. It says Chrysler. Let me show it for you for to see. Chrysler USA and the name Viceroy, the model. Uh, the cap on the body is basically some textured uh, stainless steel which is really nice and has a nice shine to it looks like it was very well kept or was barely used at all the pen and a lovely chrome tip similar to most narrow uh, fine pens as you can notice how does this pen work twist mechanism pretty much similar to cross who was the one who started that trend of the twist mechanism for fine pens now if we take a look at we pull out the cap we see a very long mechanism that kind of resembles cross but it's not cross type well it's a cross type refill but it's a proprietary from chrysler it's not exactly you cannot pop in uh, a cross refill why is this because look as you can notice it has some threads and the chrysler refill as you can notice here it says Chrysler North Bergen New Jersey and it's a blue ink and the knob is actually also metal maybe if there's some way to pull out the knob you might be able to pop in another uh, tube of another refill but in this case you need it to screw as you can notice the end part screws and then it twists like a cross type refill as you can see but again, this refill is very rare. You cannot pop in either an Anson. I tried an Anson refill, which is similar. I tried Cross, even tried um, another that resembles, but it's also proprietary. It's the refill for the ST Dupont Classic pen, which uses also a twist mechanism like this one, but neither fit. So it has to be only a Chrysler refill, unfortunately. But again, I was lucky that this one works. It feels, it has a nice weight to it for being a stainless steel. So you feel like you have a, a fancy and quality pen. That's a good, that's a good thing about it. Uh, you won't have a trouble having it in a, in a leather pen case, or you must have, because this one doesn't have a clip. Apparently this model, uh, didn't have pocket clip ever so it was either meant to be a pen for never wearing with uh, in a pocket clip or 
it was probably either that or also meant for women but i find that this style is actually pretty much unisex so i think uh this is a really really nice looking pen i mean for a 1960s pen it's really really well made um i could say that this is a fine pen also for the fact that you can have it engraved here on the top with some initials uh so that's that makes it really special and i really like the shine to it for being a stainless steel with the chrome combination it really uh makes it look really uh elegant either in a hand or placed on inside a book just laying there looks really nice it's a nice shine to it so now let's give it a try i can actually twist it with one hand which is good it doesn't feel uh rough it actually feels not too smooth just it feels right feels solid so the twisting mechanism is good but i don't know if it actually will be prone to um to maybe getting jam like cross pens are famous for so let's see over here i have my paper so let's do the writing test so this is the chrysler this is how you write chrysler chrysler fitzroy this is made in usa i mean for an old refill it writes fairly okay Made in USA in New Jersey or well was made interesting something made in New Jersey a fine pen made in New Jersey so this is a blue medium blue medium point it writes okay I mean for being a 1960s refill it writes pretty good so that says that it was very good quality you can also find Anson or cross refills or even quill refills that still work. So that's, this tells us that those refills back in the day, they were really, really well made. So maybe if you find this pen really cheap, you might be lucky and actually have one working with a refill. Will I recommend it? Yes, it's a nice pen. It's a nice to look at or just to have as a collection for the same reason that I have it because I really like the style. Um, Maybe you're lucky and you might find, sometimes once in a while you will find refills on eBay. So might, you might be lucky and find brand new refills. If not, maybe you'll need to do a hack and pop out the metal, um, the metal knob and reuse it for another uh, ink tube. Well, I hope you like this review. Stay tuned for more and thank you for watching. See you later. Bye bye.